there will never be the perfect moment to move to Italy and in today's video I want to explore some of the reasons that are often given as to why it isn't the right time to move here and give you an alternative perspective on them because whether you realise it or not, often these reasons are excuses in disguise and I want to explore some of them with you to help you to decide whether or not they truly are a genuine reason for you or whether they are a little bit of an excuse because you are waiting for that moment when everything is perfect and unfortunately it doesn't happen that way so let's get into the video so the first most obvious reason that is given as to why it's not the right time to move to Italy is of course because of the global pandemic now, this has been ongoing since 2020. We are at the beginning of 2022 and there doesn't seem to be a let up in sight. And what makes it more complicated, I think, is because every country seems to be adopting its own measures to contain and manage the situation. And so it's enough to understand in your own country what you can and cannot do. But when you are thinking of moving to Italy, you also need to understand the different measures that are in place here that may vary compared to where you're living now. So let's talk about the restrictions briefly in Italy so you can understand just how different they might be to what you're used to. So at the moment in Italy, we have a state of emergency in place until the end of March. So we've recently had a new decree announced over the Christmas and New Year period, which means as of the 10th of January, which is next week, Monday, um, there will be additional measures and restrictions put in place that require the use of the green pass. So these will now include eating at tables outdoors, at bars and restaurants, that you now need to have the green pass to be able to do that. And you also need to be able to have the green pass if you want to take a coffee standing up at a bar, whereas before you only needed it if you were choosing to sit at a table. So there are some additional measures that are taking effect from next week in relation to the use of the green pass, which is the EU-wide vaccination certificate. And in Italy, it's actually used a lot to govern what we can and cannot do. Um, for example, to be able to work here in Italy, you have to be in possession of the Green Pass. Now, when it comes to work and work only, um, you can get the Green Pass either through vaccination or through taking a negative tampon air. But if you take a negative tampon air, your Green Pass is only temporary and it will only last, I think it's 24 to 48 hours. And then you have to retake the tampon air, which you have to pay for every time um, to be issued another temporary Green Pass. However, the Italian government is looking at changing that and enforcing it to be vaccination only, but that's a whole other debate and there's a lot of controversial opinions around that. So at the moment you can use it in both ways. When it comes to leisure activities though, we now have the super green pass, which means that you have to have the vaccine to be able to access a lot of everyday activities. And now there's going to be a mega green pass, which requires the triple vaccine or double vaccine with a negative tampon air to be able to do things like visit the elderly people in care homes, for example. So yeah, life here is complicated and it feels like everything changes on a daily basis that now we have to have a different mask that we have to wear in Italy. So we now have to wear the FFP2 issued masks, which are the ones that look like a beak. Um, whereas before it was any form of mask that was acceptable. So yeah, there is a lot changing here in Italy and it can you can be forgiven for thinking that for this reason, it's not the right time to move here. But I wanna give you an alternative perspective because the truth is, when is this pandemic going to end? Like we are in 2022, we have this new variant, the Omicron variant, which is what is causing this panic and fear here in Italy. And the truth is there are always going to be new variants. There's always going to be a new strain of this. This is something that isn't going to disappear even with the vaccination program in place. And so I think, you know, it's one of those moments where you have to really ask yourself, if not now, then when? Like, you know, if you've been holding off since 2020 to move to Italy, you need to ask yourself, well, now it's 2022 and the situation doesn't really fare any better. When is it ever going to be the right time to move here? So, you know, just something to consider. The pandemic, yes, of course, it's a very obvious reason, perhaps not to move countries at this time, but don't let that be the sticking point for you because honestly, I think this is something that we are eventually going to have to learn to live with. And it shouldn't be a reason to stop you from following your dreams because who knows when it's gonna end. 
and that's it. And the second reason that is often given as to why it's not the perfect moment to move to Italy is because of the work situation. So yes, of course, work is important, vitally important as well. If you want to gain residency here in Italy, you need to be able to financially support yourself. However, it doesn't mean that it has to become an excuse for not moving to Italy right now. There are work opportunities here, of course, dependent very much on your skill set and dependent on the sector that you wish to work within. But please, as I've mentioned in so many other videos, please do not listen to the horror stories that tell you that there is no work in Italy, that Italians move abroad. Yes, in some cases, there are a lot of Italians that do move abroad to work in other countries, but it doesn't mean that there isn't any work here because there is. So, you know, you have to put the work in, you have to start being proactive, you have to start looking on the internet for opportunities, start to form connections, you know, start to put the feelers out to understand what work opportunities there may be for you here in Italy, but don't let that be an excuse not to move here because it doesn't matter where you want to move to in the world and even in the country you live in now, you know, there's always going to be a problem with work. There are always people that are unemployed. There are always people that don't earn enough. There are always people that are not happy in their work. It's a worldwide problem. So after some things to consider, the working life here is very different compared to what you may be used to, particularly with regards to working conditions, the rate of pay, etc. But you have to understand when you move to another country, you have to, you know, make some changes and adapt a little bit. That's key really to having a successful experience as an expat. So for this reason, don't let that be an excuse and do your research. Start making connections with online groups, um, free social media, for example. LinkedIn is also another really good resource as well if you have a more professional um, career path. And just put the work in and see what opportunities may be here for you because there are opportunities here and so Waiting until you have the perfect job is not going to ever happen unless you put the work in and start taking the action. So yes, that's what I would say about that. And the third reason that is often given as to why it's not the perfect moment to move to Italy is because of being apart from your family. Now, this is a really big one. And I would say that something you have to understand about life here in Italy is that Italy is a very family-centered country and so people are very traditional when it comes to family units. You will see a lot of family members, particularly here in the South, living very close to one another, seeing each other on a regular basis and basically being in close contact with one another. So it can feel very strange if your own family isn't the same way or if you are apart from your family too. So you know, that's something you just have to learn to overcome. And thanks to social media, thanks to, you know, uh, WhatsApp, there are many ways that you can stay connected with your family wherever you may be in the and, world. So. And the last reason that I would say that is often given when it comes to it not being the perfect moment to move is that you don't speak the language. Now, I have already recorded a video about whether or not you can live in Italy not speaking the language. And yes, you can, but of course, admittedly, it's not easy. Um, First hand, I can tell you, I struggled a lot. Um, especially in the initial stages with not speaking the language. So I highly recommend that you learn it. But don't wait until you are fluent in Italian before you move here. Learn the basics, help yourself to be understood, but don't wait for that perfect moment when you speak Italian like the Italians, because trust me, it doesn't happen. It's not ever going to be that moment in time. You have to practice and you have to do your best at learning the basics, but learn what you can before and continue to learn when you arrive. This is what I would say. I think honestly in life, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I think so many of us hold ourselves back. We have these big dreams, we have these big goals, whether it's to move to Italy, whether it's to start a business, whether it's to follow another passion we, we might have. And we say, okay, I'm going to do it when X, Y, and Z is in place, or when I can do this, or when I can do that, that's when I'm gonna take the action. But life just doesn't happen that way. You have to take the action and sometimes you don't have anything lined up at all, or sometimes there's only two or three elements that you've got in place when you take that step. And I promise you, everything else falls into place afterwards. And 
I was inspired to record this video, not only because we're at the start of a new year, but also because I just joined as a mentor for a fantastic program called Mentor Her. In fact, I'm going to put all the links below in the show notes in case this is of interest to you. And it's a global platform which connects and supports ambitious women from all around the world. Um, and I'm going to be a mentor on their upcoming program, which starts on the 10th of January, because I've been on a real journey myself in terms of running my own business, in terms of moving here to Italy, in terms of growing this Ms. Brittley platform and the, my own goals and ambitions that I have around that. So, you know, there were many moments that were not perfect in my life when I took the decisions to start a business, to move to Italy, but everything fell into place afterwards. And that's why I wanted to record this video to give you a little bit of inspiration and to help you to really start to identify whether the reasons you are given for not moving to Italy really are valid or whether they are simply excuses that you are trying to hide behind. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video.